Here we see a car accelerating to the right, speeding up over the course of time. The location of the car at one second intervals is shown. What we notice about this car is that as it accelerates to the right, the distance traveled from one second to the next is increasing. If we wish to numerically analyze this motion, we're going to need to select a reference frame, a zero point. The zero point that we'll choose is the position of the car at zero seconds. We want to pick the front tire of the car at zero seconds, and we're going to call that the zero point. So once we make that designation of a reference frame, we can find the position that the car is at at one second, and at two seconds, and at three seconds, four seconds, and five seconds. We now have position and time values for the motion of this speeding up car. If we place those positions up on a number line, what we notice is a dot diagram that looks like the dot diagram of an object moving to the right and speeding up. Now we're going to take those position and times and place them in the table and then plot the position of this car as a function of time. Once plotted, we'll draw the best fit line for these six points. It's a parabola, a curved line. For a position time graph for a speeding up object, it's a curve. The line becomes steeper each consecutive second. We know this because when we draw a tangent line for this, uh, for this curve at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 seconds, we notice that the slope of that tangent line becomes steeper and steeper. The, the position time graph for an accelerating object is a curved line, and for speeding up motions, it's a curved line that gets steeper over the course of time.